all right guys great to have you here today and today we are going to be looking at how to solve the problem of uh permission denied public key right if you have having that issue um this video is particularly going to address that issue because a lot of persons experience uh, such a problem from when they are trying to log into their web server so just take for instance you want to log into your web server you into that then your ip address and paste so if you hit enter it's going to tell you something different permission deny public key so a lot of persons experience so the first thing you have to do is to check if your public and your private key are intact so how do you do that um what you have to do cd into the ssh directory and you list the file so you check if your public key and your for for this case i already have my my public key which is school.pub which is the exact public key that, was expect, that they expected us to create and you have your private key which is so you can as well go into those files to check the content of the file and also take note your public key and your private key you know that they are the same the private key correspond with the public key all right there was a, a, a situation um at a point i created a key then later on i didn't know that when i was copying the private key you know it's longer more lengthy than the public key and i omitted some of the characters even if you omit one character or you miss characters it's going to cause a problem always ensure that your public key is intact and it corresponds to the private key so since we already have this we know that okay our public key is there there at the dot ssh directory so the next thing we want to do and if your case is you don't have a public private key you don't have an ssh key you can always create one this command ssh ssh dash key gen and then you add your flag the type of um, key is an arrow s of course then it's going to be um 4090 96 bytes then going to file b under the under the dot ssh direct okay and the name of the file is going to be school so this is the simple this is the uh, line of code you need to create your public key, your RSA key pair. So once you do this, you hit enter, it's going to create your key for you. Okay, so I already have that, so I don't need. So, in case you don't have a public and private key, this is the code you use to get that. So, since we already have that, so I think that that solved the first problem. So, the next one you want to look at is you want to. Uh, since you already have this key, you want to change the mode. So you do chmod, change mode. Um, you want to change the mode to 100. Okay, that's the pub public key so that only the file now can read, write, and file, right? So the public key. Okay, so you change the mode and hit enter. All right, so I'm going to change the mode of that file. So after doing that what are you going to do is it going to work um that's not the only thing you need to do so after that you go ahead to start the ssh agent all right you go ahead to start the SSH. so how do you do that you come here um gonna do eval eval right Okay, so let's follow the code. Then you are going to add your agent. You're going to add bug. That that's what you do. Do this. That's how you start your SSH agent. Okay. So I hit enter. So it's going to it's going to display the the agent PID. You see, 
Okay, next we want to add SSH private key to the SSH agent that we just started. So the command to do that is H add. Want to add the file? Get the hidden directory called H and file is enter. Okay, it's going to ask for passphrase. So I'm just going to gently enter my passphrase. All right, so you're going to see, it's going to display this. You can see identity added here. Okay, so that is what you need to do. So the next thing we want to do right now. So after doing all of this, let us try to log in into the web server if it's going to work this time. So I'll do. Uh, SSH on to IP okay, so we are in so that okay guys as you can see we are already logged into the web zero one server so uh, why don't we automate this process so that we can log in directly all right without having to go through the stress of typing ssh and the rest of them uh, ubuntu and uh, why don't we automate this process so to do that first you have to quit okay go back to you okay so we are out so what we want to do uh, we want to be able, we want to create a file that help us log in into our our web server we want to automate automate the process so how do we do that how do we do that okay so i want to create a file and i'll call that web01 Yeah, that will help me to log in directly into my my web server. Right, so we are web zero one, and if I hit enter, yeah, okay, I'll quickly put the content of that file. So I already prepared that. Um, this bin bash. Okay, this should be the first line then there's a comment server zero one login and eval okay this is going to add the ssh agent agent in this file then this is going to start the ssh agent then this line is going to add this public key file which is two in the .ssh directory we are adding that then this is the our ip address followed by our ip that's this is a shortcut once you have that file then you make it executable so that is yep, column wq as it from there and the next thing we want to do we want to um, change the mode of this file chr mode mode plus x zero one so enter all right so uh, i'm going to run the file let's see if it's going to log us into our web server so, right passphrase all right so as you can see we are in we are in into our web server web server one so you can automate your process Without having to start typing you can just create it or the command create them in the file and use that to log in i hope this helps um if you have any further question kindly leave them in the uh, comment section if you have any challenges public key uh, denied permission denied public key also leave any question in the comment section right, i'll see you in the next video